Y'all read about that fundraiser they had out in the Hamptons? It was like something out of the onion, what those people were saying. I mean, you couldn't even make this up. I mean, the most creative people in the world couldn't say, well, well my husband's a great humanitarian. Oh, he let that. It was for reporters, and our Zeke Miller was out there for us. There was this long line of, oh. um, like, Aston Martins and Ferraris, I, and they were checking identity very carefully, and so there was just this long line of very nice cars, and reporters just kind of walking up to each one, and they would roll down the window and say, are you staff? Can you get me in? Yeah, and the reporters say, no, but what do you think about, you know, yeah. the, said, poor. No, is, about the poor? She said, honey, you tell him, he's a great guy. You know what he is? He let a vice president, a senior executive for Miramax stay on his 75-foot yacht because he couldn't find a hotel room. This man's a humanitarian. I mean, my God, <laughs> <laughs> the milk of human kindness flows from the breath. Oh, man. Is that uh, enough, woo! though? I mean, I feel like there's this, mm. I mean, you certainly hear a debate among Democrats of whether kind of sneering at the rich is enough. There is, but, uh, the no, rich deba- there is yeah. no real right. debate amongst <laughs> Democrats on this issue. <laughs> and the definition of Romney is, is a big part of why this election is going to be shaped in this way. And also, if you go in the battleground states, where this advertising on our side has you know, defined Romney as a guy who only looks out for the rich, sacrificed workers, when we give a list of, poss- of facts about, about Romney, the one that goes to the top yeah. is Cayman Islands. Mm-hmm. I think we are only beginning to see. As the one, they've kn- yeah, the no, one they know say. most? Yeah, the, the no, great, no, 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 the, the that, they, that upsets them the most. Huh. Many of the great Democrats that we all admire as Democrats, Franklin Roosevelt was a, 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 a privilege beyond whatever, the, the Kennedys, I mean, uh, you, you know, you name them, a lot of, you know, tons of people like that. Uh, Senator Rockefeller up there in West Virginia for so long. That's not the issue. The issue is not whether you're rich or not. The issue is whether you're clueless. Okay, whether you see. You know, I don't. It, it, you know, you can. And, and, and you know, there's a saying that you know, in, in relative to the other people that I grew up with, we grew, we we had a, like the country store, you know, which means. But you know, we were always told, boy, dad, but for the grace of God, go you. And people need to remember that. And when people forget that and start thinking, you know, differently, then, that, then we lose something as a country. We don't, well, I don't, I don't fault anybody, you know, I, I, Bill Gates, I mean, I, you know, I was thinking how much money this guy, Warren Buffett's like one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. So is this he, something Romney can fix? Is there, how would you, if you're advising him, how, do you, how, do you, how, does, how can he show that he's not out of touch? Yeah, I don't think that, that Romney, I don't think that he can show that he's not out of touch. But I, if, <laughs> but I don't, because I think he, every time that he tries, he just looks goofy. I think it, he does. I mean, look at, I mean, you, how many moments do we have to go through in the campaign? of him just doing, he's not in, he doesn't need to start a campaign as a kind of regular guy. He, he needs to campaign is, I'm a guy, I'm a fixer. That's the nature of things. I can assess a problem, I can solve a problem.